Hello, hello beautiful Scorpio and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Scorpio or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not a Scorpio, I do trust that there is something in here for you. So just immediately, um, what I'm seeing here is someone's stomach, like your gut. This is about your gut instinct. But I'm seeing um, actually the solar plexus are showing me the sun. So there's something that you lack confidence in. There's a situation in your life that you don't feel confident about anymore. Um, it could be a person, a lover, or a friend. But there's something that you lack confidence in. That is going to change. I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing like the wind blowing. So there is going to be some kind of change in your circumstance or situation to make you feel more confident in it. Okay. Okay. I just heard the name Harry. So I don't know what that, maybe that's someone very specifically for. Um, someone also favors the right side of their body. Um, you could also be dominantly right-handed is something that I am seeing here for somebody because what was so fascinating with you is like, I started to do your, um, your channeled, like scry your channeled messages and I wrote everything on the right hand side. And then I started to get energies from your right hemispheric brain your right hemisphere of the brain. I don't know exactly like what the difference is between the right or the left. I'm not a doctor, um, but you can look that up if that rings a bell for you. Um, let me see what else I'm just all of a sudden getting before I get into your reading. Okay, I'm seeing a fishing pole. Um, There's a grandfather, maybe this is a father, an uncle. It is a masculine energy. This person is no longer on this plane. So I am sorry for your loss. They're pointing to their throat. Um, I feel like this person could have avoided something. They could have gone to the doctor, but they didn't. They come across a little bit stubborn. They could have gone to the doctor and they didn't. Um, but they're around you and they're showing me fishing. Okay. I'm seeing the letter G. Okay, Scorpio. Um, so last month you activated me. When I did your reading this month, same thing. I feel very activated in your space. I feel ready, more ready than I've ever been before to do your reading. It's very different. Your energy is different. Your energy is not on this plane. It's a different frequency. There's no material to it. It's not of the material world because you are connected to a gift of yours. You're connected to an energy of yours that is not on this plane. Okay, it's not material. Um, and we're we're gonna get into why, but I just have to say for this portion of the reading, I don't know how many cards I'll be using because I attempted to do your reading yesterday and I could see the energy very clearly, the energy that you presented to me, the story that you wanted to narrate you know, threw me as a, as a messenger, but whenever I pulled the cards, it distorted that message. It's almost like, um, the best way I can describe it for people is like, um, you're, you're trying, it's like you're trying to tune and you can tune in, but then you use a medium that's not attuned to the energy and it creates a lot of static and distortion. It's like watching a static TV and you're trying to figure out what the picture is. Like you can't. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to use as many cards. I may, if I feel it's appropriate, if I see like an opening in the energy that I can use that medium, I will. Um, and then I'll use cards, you know, for other messages and your love portion of this reading. 
So initially when I did your scrying messages on May 2nd, I heard whistling. And this whistling was an energy from the beyond, beyond that. And it felt like a secret calling. It's interesting. Someone just beat their horn. <laughs> I feel like with this group that I'm channeling right now, you're ending a 10 year cycle because I heard the 10 year journey and then I got the number 2014. So there's something about a 10 year cycle that you're closing out. I also feel, um, what you're closing out are a lot of, um, I'm just, I'm seeing the word toxicity. There's, um, it's interesting cause I have a collective read that I wanted to do after this and it's coming through in your space. And this is the thing with you is, um, you activate a lot of other energies and so I feel like you're activating something in your life that you want to experience. You're activating joy. You're activating happiness. You're activating these lighthearted frequencies, vibrations in your body and that you're ready to experience it. But in order to activate that energy, something else has to deactivate is the easiest way that I can explain what you're being what you're presenting to me so I feel like there's a lot of toxicities there's a lot of infiltrations of energies from the outside world even internally that you're closing out and that's this like 10 year cycle I feel like you're at the tail end of this so you may be experiencing heightened sensitivities, heightened emotions, you may be experiencing like a flood of toxins, okay, interesting. So some of you are going through a cleanse right now, you're going through a cleanse within your body because it's mirroring the cleanse that you're going through spiritually in these, in these realms, beyond the beyond. <laughs> So this secret calling, okay, we're back to this. Sorry if I'm going to be jumping a little bit around. My apologies, but it all connects. Um, there is, again, like there's something that is away from you. There's something that is not connected to this material world. And I feel like you have put it there. You have sent it. You have distanced it from yourself. Um, I heard in this space while I was channeling this, I heard a secret unearthed. And then I started to get a lot of visions of graveyards. And to me, um, you know, when someone says, I'm going to take the secret to the grave, that's what I started to feel in your energy. Like you're taking something to the grave. You took, you did, you took something to the grave in your past life. And whatever you took in that grave with you in the past life, when you passed away, you kept it there. When you reincarnated, it didn't come with you because you chose it to not come with you. And so this secret which I feel is a gift of yours, is contained in the graveyard. It's contained in death. And it has lived on in the afterlife. I feel like it's a gift of yours. And we're going to get into some past life energies so that you can understand your present moment a little bit more clearly. So you're focused on being happy, not expecting to unearth this kind of power, not expecting to unearth this gift of yours because some of you, you do not want it. So this is what you're presenting to me and what spirit is um, guiding me. So I'm just going to give thanks to spirit before we get into the stream more so. Let me just say thank you to my ancestors. Thank you to my ancestors known and unknown. Thank you, Mother Goddess Nana Ishtar. Thank you, Scorpio, for allowing me to read for you today. And thank you for trusting me with your beautiful energy. Amin. 
So I'm picking up on a past life of majority of you who are resonating in this group of consciousness. You had a past life where you were a prophet. You had a past life where you were a devotee to spread the word of God. When religion initially started to come out into the world. Some of you were older than that era. You had past lives older than, than religion. You were an oracle, you were a seer, you were a medicine man, medicine woman. I'm hearing in many different cultures, in many different villages. I just heard village. So some of you have experienced different cultures, different... Um, You've lived in many different areas of the world. You may see yourself now in this lifetime that you hold a lot of knowledge that is um, that you didn't learn before, that you didn't read a book to obtain that information, to um, receive that kind of knowledge. You didn't read it in a book or learn it from a master. Okay, it's because it's you're connected to that consciousness that you once lived in that past life. Now, in these past lives, you had to devote your entire self. You also had a gift of healing, a gift of, I'm hearing, a miracle worker. You had gifts of, I just heard, enchantment, lots of magic, old magic, ancient magic, not the magic that you see predominantly here on social media. This is magic that is kept secret. Okay, they don't want me to talk about that. Um, for those who know, you know. But you, I'm getting this energy where you had to devote yourself so deeply to what you were doing that you didn't have the experience that other humans lived at that, at that time. Some of you never had children. Your bloodline ended, um, like you didn't have kids or if you had siblings, your siblings had, had children and so on and so forth. But for some of you, you didn't have kids. You couldn't get married or you didn't want to get married or you didn't, you chose not to have children, but you, you chose to not even have love in, in that human capacity, in that human connection. You had love for humanity. You did. You had love for humanity, but it was difficult for you to connect with other humans um, because you had such a, how do I say that? You just had a different um, vibration on this earth. You had a different frequency. You had a different purpose. Um, it wasn't your main focus. You always felt like you had to sacrifice happiness. Some of you, you knew that you had a purpose to fulfill, but it didn't bring you joy. It brought you a lot of power. Yes, a lot of gifts. Yes, a lot of knowledge because knowledge is power. But um, I'm seeing someone like look around them um, in the world and they're thinking, well, I don't have that. So you may notice yourself in this lifetime where you have a hard time making friends. You have a hard time connecting with others. You have a deep love for humanity and you may do humanitarian work, but connecting yourself with others in a deep friendship or a deep love is hard. It's harder for you. And it's because of these past lives that are coming through. So when you came into this world, I'm getting, um, I'm seeing a, um, an energy drop like this. So to me, this is like um, someone reincarnating is when I see an energy, just like, it, it looks like a falling star. That's reincarnation to me. Um, when you reincarnated into this world, there's a choice that you made upon your uh, descend, okay, so to speak, descend onto earth. 
um, from the heavens. You made a choice. And the choice that you made is um, to lay these gifts in the grave, like to keep them there because you wanted to have a real human experience. You wanted to have happiness and joy and love and children and so on and so forth. I'm getting a message that some of you, you had the thought that you didn't want to have kids and now you're changing your mind that you do. Some of you, okay, that's very specific for someone out there, but there are, for majority, like general, you, in this lifetime, you have changed your mind about something. You want something now. You desire something now. You long for something that you didn't long for before. And that feeling is the same feeling that you chose when you, upon reincarnation into this world, where you chose to put this gift aside. You chose to lay, lay that knowledge in the grave. Okay, they're saying it's not just in the grave because it's lived on in the afterlife. So interesting. So we're going to get to your, your options that are being presented to you in this lifetime because the options that are being presented to you in this lifetime are the options that were presented to you when you, re when you reincarnated into this world upon you coming back. So they're saying your gift, your knowledge, it's not just like symbolically yes it's in the grave like but it has lived on in the afterlife so they're they're showing me um so the way i saw the energy was i got the vis the same vision of the graveyard but i saw your gift your knowledge your power um ascend up and so this to me is what you have done all the information that you have obtained in those past lives, the ancient teachings, the methodologies, the healing aspects to the healing associated to those teachings, the healing associated, because some of you were miracle workers, the healing that is, a, there's healing attached to the knowledge and the teachings. There's a healing aspect and healing energy that I'm seeing. It's it's in the consciousness. It's in the world where other people can retrieve that information. So you'll have readers or oracles or seers in this lifetime that have, have the capability to learn what you have learned in the past life. Like you have, you have put it out there into the consciousness, into the world for other people to receive. And that's why... Um, I scribed for you on May 2nd that this gift has lived on in the afterlife. It's all right. It's living on because it's being used. It's, it, it's still serving its purpose. People are gravitated to this knowledge and to the teachings that you have spoken once before in another life. Some of you, I'm, I just felt a relief. Some of you needed that confirmation. Some of you needed to know that because I'm picking up that some of you have had this inclination about yourself before. Okay, that just went away. So now we're back to these options that are being presented to you. I feel like you're focusing on being happy, not expecting to unearth this kind of power because you have laid it, right? You've laid it in the grave. It's living on in the afterlife, what we just talked about. So you're really focused on joy. You're focused on friendships. And this is this next cycle that you are beginning. So you're ending a 10-year cycle and you're starting you're starting this next cycle of yours. I don't know how long your your next cycle is. Um, probably another long one. If I'm if I'm honest with you, I just heard thirteen years. Okay, so maybe thirteen years. I don't know. Um, but you're starting off very light. You're starting off. I just start, you're starting off on the right foot. 
you're starting off very balanced maybe that's why like I kept feeling like someone favored the right side of their body now you're like balancing your body which is like balancing your spirit and your soul because now you're sure of what you truly want to experience here in this world now you understand what you truly want to experience in this world and this it's it's joy it's happiness it's love children for some of you for actually most of you since the storyline keeps coming up um and i just heard freedom you don't want the burden you don't want the burden of carrying this knowledge because you have felt this burden before you don't want the burden of this gift because you have had that burden before. You have had to sacrifice your joy and happiness once before, and you don't want to do it anymore. Some of you, it's it's almost like spirit asking you once again, it's almost like the universe asking you once again, are you sure? Are you sure? And that's why the secret calling is whistling. The secret calling is calling you beyond the grave and saying, are you sure? Because you are on the spiritual journey. You are on the spiritual path. And you you have been understanding and recognizing more about yourself. And so you've reached a point in your, in your, in, you reached a point in your life, in your vibration, in your frequency where it's mirroring the time in which you have reincarnated into this world. And it's that time of asking you, what do you want to experience here? You made that choice once before and spirit is giving you another choice. The universe is, your soul is giving you another choice. Okay, Scorpio, let's present you with the, these options again. What do you want to experience? Because you're closing a 10 year cycle, cycle and you're starting a new one. Where do you want to start it? Do you want these gifts back? Do you want this knowledge? Do you want them? It's not necessarily, they corrected me, it's not necessarily giving them back, but do you want to remember it all? Thank you, Spirit. Do you want to remember it all? <laughs> I feel such a peace here in your space. I Wow, I just all of a sudden getting emotional um because they're saying to me you don't <laughs> they're saying to me that there's this um narrative in the spiritual community where it's all about you got to remember you got to remember who you are remember who you are remember who you are and spirit saying sometimes it's not about remembering but experiencing and creating a new story and I feel like that's where you are right now, Scorpio. You're creating a new story for yourself. And Spirit is asking you once again because you can feel it. You can feel that secret calling. You can feel those ancient gifts. You can feel that ancient knowledge tugging at you. And you may be feeling frustrated or you may be feeling like I have a choice to make. Or you may be feeling like I don't really know where which path to go. Or you may be feeling like you're in a liminal phase. Or you're in the mystery. Or you're in the void right now. Or you're in a transitional period. That's because you are. So you're feeling all these things and you may not know what this is. This is what it is. So you have options that are being presented to you right now, my love. Okay, I'm going to pull cards. <laughs> 2323 right there. I'm going to pull cards. That was fun. <laughs> oh, that was different. Thank you for um, gifting me with that experience, Scorpio. But see how you like open that space up for me? See, so you're active you're activating joy inside of you right now. You're activating happiness. You're activating a timeline that you have not experienced before. That you sacrificed. Look at this. Accepting challenges. Trust your inner resources. You're activating. Look at this activation. You're activating a timeline. You're activating an experience that you haven't had before. And look at the sun. The sun is what? It's, it's an activator. It's a life force. It's giving you life. 
and you're accepting it. I know this is accepting challenges, but you're, you're accepting this energy. You're accepting the experience no matter what, no matter what, I guess, yeah, challenges lay upon, you know, this, this path that you're going to be walking on, but you're accepting it no matter what, because you want, you're ready for this experience now. You're ready for this experience now. There's a really intense gravitational pull here, here that I'm seeing here as well. It's, it's a really massive gravitational pull. Like you could see, you can see her or him being pulled into this timeline, into this, you're being pulled into this experience. And spirit is saying, once you make the decision of what you want to experience right now in your next cycle, you got to lean into it. So not only are you going to be gravitationally pulled, but you're going to be advised, like you're being advised to lean into it. For Scorpio, please, Spirit. Longing is the portal to wholeness. Look at this, longing. You know what's interesting is... Um, I was, was I saying that? I don't remember, but I was saying like, I was seeing someone look out. I don't remember. I was in the stream of channeling. I have no idea, but I think I was saying, I was seeing someone look outside and you can see like, there's a person right here. I know it's kind of abstract, but you could see a person right here and this is the balcony and they're looking out because they're longing. You see something, you see other humans interacting the way that they're interacting and you're over here being kept a secret with all your knowledge and your ancient information in a past life like you couldn't have something but in this lifetime you're given the choice and longing is the portal to wholeness so that's the portal here that is opening up for you to pull you into this experience because you have longed for it and so spirit is saying, that's this wholeness that I was feeling. That's this like, you know, um, experience of like, you're, you're leaning on one side of your body the most, or like your, um, what did I say here? Favors the right side of your body. But now it's like, you're becoming balanced, but spirit is saying it's not balance, it's wholeness. It's wholeness. Wow. Okay. I just, wow. I kid you not. I just have this like tangling on the left side of my body right here, especially on my cheek. Interesting. Look, return to joy at the bottom of the deck. You can't make it up. Thank you, Spirit. And thank you, Scorpio, for giving me this experience to channel without cards. And here you have return to joy we are here to experience joy and that's what you're here to experience because that is the longing that is the longing that's the longing for you just give me a moment because these two cards this is a, this is something new i believe you have your listen to advice and you are unique but you see that path every time i see this it's a path it's a path right here and it's kind of like you know twisting and turning be yourself everyone else is taken i know you're you i feel like i don't that's not the message here but this is a this reminds me of the virgo reading that i did where i was saying that there's a bending path there's a path that is bending but you're the one that's bending the path and it's interesting okay so it may be just the same message spirit is saying you're listening to your own advice there was an a, there's an advice that you like gave yourself again it's like that point like just that there's that point in time right it's like almost that. That's like the point in time when you reincarnated into this world and you made a decision. You heeded the advice of the longing that you felt. And that's this portal to wholeness, right? There, look at that. That's the portal right there to wholeness. 
So spirit is saying like, listen to that advice again. Listen to yourself again. Listen to yourself again is what spirit is saying. Because that choice that you were given before you reincarnated again is mirroring, is mirroring, right? Okay, is mirroring um, the, the, the point in time right now when you're where you are feeling like you're making this choice again. So you're making this choice again of what you want to experience. And also because you're ending a 10-year cycle. Okay, so we just went a, a layer deep. So we just went beyond the beyond to tell you the depth of why you're feeling this. But on this earthly plane, I well, not earth, well, I guess sort of, the energies that are closer to the, to the earthly plane is the energy of the 10-year cycle that you're closing out and you're starting a new cycle. So you're feeling like you have to make a choice of what you want to experience next because this 10-year cycle is closing. But again, there's like that depth that we just went through for like the first 20 minutes. Okay. And like, listen, some of you may choose to unearth this gift. Some of you may choose to unearth this power. Some of you may. Maybe you're here to experience it all in this lifetime. Maybe that's your portal to wholeness. Everyone has a different longing. Everyone has a different portal to wholeness. So spirit is saying, listen to yourself because you are unique. You're about to accept, okay, a new experience. And they're saying, what kind of experience do you, do you want to have? What does your portal to wholeness look like? Is it just to experience this joy and happiness without the burden of these gifts and knowledge and information that you have once had in a past life and who you were? Even though that's still part of your uniqueness, that's still part of you and it's still, you know, in the consciousness, it's still living on in that afterlife and it's still serving its purpose here. And, you know, I've probably grabbed some of your knowledge. I've probably channeled it and other readers and, and you know, so on and so forth. And some of you maybe just needed to have that confirmation again. So what does it look like for you? You're focusing on being happy, not expecting to unearth this kind of power, or are you expecting to unearth this kind of power? The choice is yours. Maybe this world is ready for that kind of wholeness. Maybe you are ready for that wholeness. Maybe you can balance the spirit that that depth of spirituality with the practical earth matter consciousness. Maybe you can balance these two wholes. everyone's portal to wholeness looks different and what is yours i mean you're the one that's on this journey <laughs> so i'm gonna pull a last card on this okay but i feel like for a majority of you this is this return to joy that's like That's the focus. You have here winter's dream, gestation period. What does gestation mean? Sorry, I just want to look. It's 11.06. I don't know why I needed to say that. Um, gestation meaning the process. Oh, oh my God, the carry. Okay, the first thing that came up was about pregnancy. So that's why, that's why. So there's two things. That's why I was seeing this narrative of like children, the carrying of young in the uterus, pregnancy. And number two is the development, especially in the mind. 
But I feel like that's also pregnancy. There's development in the mind or the brain of a baby, but also for humans, a full gestation period is normally nine months. There's something that this is development over time. This is development over time. What is developing over time for you, Scorpio? It could be this joy energy that you're about to accept to experience in this next cycle where your focus is just going to be on happiness and joy and fulfillment and, and maybe family, relationships with others, human connection. What is this development? What is What has been developing over time? What has been developing over time? What has been developing over time? You have here the Watchers and the Whale Song, resonating and transpersonal. Oh, my nose is getting itchy, sorry. What has been developing over time? Man is something that you're creating, manifest. Contact, vibrational. Some of you could be a star seed, that may be a confirmation for you. Some of you are connected to a Leo or you have strong Leo in your chart. Yeah, see celestial. This is all your energy. This is this is this is who you are. Okay, I have a I have a layer layers of messages here. Oh, my nose gets so itchy when I channel. Sorry. There's um. There's an elder. I just heard an elder queen. I don't know. This you're definitely from a obviously you're from another time, okay? Like we've we've established that. But there's an elder queen, there's a watcher that's trying to make contact with you. It could be to give you some kind of advice. We're going to get into love in just a moment because there is also a lover that has been watching you that will make contact, not watching in a creepy way, but like um, observing your energy, feeling your energy, um, feeling very personal energies with you and they are about to make contact with you. This, this is someone that you have been manifesting or has been manifesting you. I'm also getting like there's an aspect of your the who you who you were in a past life is also like watching you and it's this longing that your past life like your aspect of yourself your energy from a past life has also like longed for this peace and for this joy and happiness and this experience and that's been like this development over time it's like taking many, 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 like hundreds or maybe even thousands of years to develop this kind of experience for your soul. And that is something that you are resonating in. You're resonating in this new experience that you're about to have, okay, that you're manifesting and to bring things down, you know, into this vibrational earth matter consciousness here in your reality the seeds that you have planted from your previous cycle are manifesting okay and those are the energies that you're resonating with now that's what you feel someone's also going to have um some kind of breakthrough you're going to have a breakthrough 
you're going to have a lot of people watch you. You're going to have a lot of people contact you. They're very attracted to your vibration. They're attracted to your starseed energy, to your feminine energy. This could be masculine energy too, but I'm getting, I'm getting a feminine energy with you. It's very enchanting. It's very enticing. Um, I don't know if this is fame, fortune, or you're just going to do something. Maybe I'm okay. I'm seeing someone write a book that you have been developing over time. There's some kind of project for some of you. Okay. We're getting into earthly energies. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So much easier to read. Um, some of you have been developing a project over time. Okay. You've been creating it. It brings you a lot of joy. I feel like it could be a self-help book or some kind of book that gives advice to others or advises others. It's definitely, okay, I just heard controversial. Maybe it raises controversies or controversial energies within oneself. Okay, but there's going to be a lot of people that resonate with it. Um, I'm seeing you on a talk show. I'm seeing you discuss it with, with people. I'm seeing it's something that opens up um, a lot of people's minds. It gets people thinking. Maybe that's this controversy. It doesn't feel like anything bad. Okay. Let's see what other messages we have. And what other messages? Okay. So we're going to get into love. There's someone who used to be married. I'm seeing here someone someone used to be married. Someone got a divorce. Yeah, someone is free from that. You're you're free from the stress of a previous marriage or the person that you're connected to because there is someone that you're connected to that is um, trying to make contact with you it could be uh, very telepathic the person that you're connected to is in the void right now they're going through some roadblocks they could be the one that's getting out of a marriage or a divorce This person is finding themselves resonating in the past. Oh. Because they took two steps back. They took one step forward. Okay. I'm hearing inactivity. I'm getting the number 244442. There's a there's a person that you're connected to where the relationship has gone inactive. I don't know if some of you are like, they're forgetting their desire to know you. They're forgetting the desire for you, but they're not. They still recognize. They still remember. They understand. They are trying to feel you or you're the one trying to feel them. Maybe you're the one that's like trying to look for them, watching and trying to make contact with them because they, someone's in the void. Someone's in the void. It could be you with what we just went through, or it could be the person that you're connected to in a void and you're trying to look for them. This person took two steps back in the past. Maybe that's why you're like, hey, like you're not really here. You're not really present because they took two steps back in the past. And that's where this inactivity is coming from. They're very active in their past right now. I did this reading, I think it was for Pisces, where I was picking up that someone was closing out um, a two-year cycle, like they're closing out something from their past. I just heard a two-year gap. They're trying to fill the gap. Okay, you have here a headache. Sorry, my leg's asleep. Um, this, is, this is something is off. I don't feel anything about health. I did channel that earlier where I felt like some there was a, a masculine energy that passed. Again, I'm so, so sorry for your loss. Who could have done something. Excuse me. And they were pointing to the throat. Yeah, my throat chakra just weirdly opened up. Um, 
where they could have done something about their health and they didn't. Okay, like their own stubborn blocked their path to healing. Okay, that energy is coming up here. But see, you feel something is off with someone. You feel like someone is struggling around you and they are. Check on your friends. If you're worried about a friend, check up on them. But I feel like this romantic partner of yours, like you feel like something is off with them. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. They just started vacuuming. Yeah, health again. Okay. Oh. Health again. Okay. If this is abundant physical health. If you are worried about your health, I do see like it's a temporary block. It's a temporary experience, but your health is going to get better. Like that's why I didn't see it the first time because it's not going to be anything long term. Some of you, this could just be worry or you're just changing your habits or your diet or something like that. I did pick up, did I say that? I'm not really sure. I don't remember what I channeled. Um, but I am seeing that some of you are going through a cleanse and you're cleaning out toxins from your body. So this is like a temporary, um, you know, feeling unwell. Um, but you're going to feel fine. Okay, I'm going to come back after they stop. Oh, they just stopped. Okay, never mind. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> um... But, but, like, this is not just health. I'm seeing 644-544. Um, whatever this person is going through that you feel like something is off with them, it's going to come back and flow. You do have here flow. It's going to flow once again. Because it's like this an inactivity, this love, this relationship that's inactive right now, it's going to be active again. You have here flag. Yeah, someone's going to reach a really big success, a really big achievement, you're going to be recognized. You're going to you're going to get some winnings. You get, you're going to get some money, increase in money. Um I just heard coined. So you're going to I don't know some of you you're researching something, you're going to write something and you're going to coin a terminology. Like you're going to coin something. Okay? It's something that you're researching, something that you're working on. I see that here really heavily. Yeah, broken heart. Jack and Diane could be names that are significant to you. But someone is like, someone is distressed. Someone is, someone around you is distressed. Okay, I'm, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, so we left off with the broken heart Jack and Diane card number three. Um, this person going through some kind of grief, funk, sadness, distress. This could be you. This could be the person that you're connected to. Um, but I really feel like this let down card, this let down um, right here is is standing out. You may feel let down by this person or you may not know what's going on with this inactivity. So you feel let down in this situation. See, this is so frustrating for you because this ties back to your spiritual growth will be channeled about your portal. Your longing is the portal to wholeness and you're really selectively choosing your experience right now of what that wholeness in this experience looks like for you. What are you longing for? And in your in your previous past lives, the way that we read your energy, you had to sacrifice love, like you, this like romantic love, like with other, with your soulmate because of the work that you had to do. You always felt like you had to sacrifice your own happiness because of what you were doing, your gifts, your knowledge, like it always came 
at a burden. Like there was a, there's a burden that you have to carry. It's like a double-edged sword, right? What we talked about in your spiritual growth portion. But in this lifetime, what you want to experience, what you're longing for is unconditional love, is the soulmate bond. I'm getting like a, a past life story that just came in like while I was on pause. And I feel like that's really interesting to me where like I had to stop my reading. I had to stop your reading, excuse me. And I had to take a pause. I feel like that's what, that's what this inactivity is that's happening in, in this connection. It's like you had, you have to take a pause to really assess what you're longing for. Some of you, it's this person that you have always longed for because you couldn't be with them in the past lives. You, you couldn't. But now you want to have this experience and so it's that much more frustrating to you because you're ready to have this experience and you chose to have this experience in this lifetime and you're manifesting it, you're creating it, it's been developing over time and here there's this person in your life that you have this love for and you're just like, why is it so inactive? So I feel like you feel let down, okay? So let's see, the sun's here. Let's read some potentials. Some of you could be manifesting someone else. Like the universe will bring you someone else if this if this person isn't, um, wow, this person has a vice, honey. They do love you. Wow, king of cups. They have so much love, but there is some, I don't know if they're going through an addiction they're going through some kind of like dark night of the soul here, but they're doing something in excess that they're trying to get rid of. This is like excess energy. There's something that is, is blocking them. They feel stuck. Yeah. Right. With that roadblock from earlier, they feel stuck. They took two steps back into the past. And they went right into the arms of the devil. Like they, they really took two steps back. I feel like this person's going through a spiritual awakening. But again, it's like th it, they do love you. And I feel like this is just so frustrating for you because you're finally ready for this. Eight of Wands. See, they are. See, something is going to pick back up. I, I strongly feel that. Let's see, who is this with? Um, you do have here a Virgo energy. Three of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Swords. See, you, see, someone is worried that there's no future. You're worried that there's no future. But there is going to be contact. There is going to be communication. There is going to be movement. There is going to be a shift. And this shift, you're going to see it. But some of you are worried that it's not going to be the shift that you want. I'm sorry. Like, I just got to say it. It may not be the shift that you want. So there's going to be some options that open up for you. Seven of Cups. To manifest someone new. Even though, even it doesn't matter. Like, even though you're connected to this person, you have unconditional love. You're timeless there's still a choice here, right? Just like the past lives, like this person has always been with you. But that doesn't mean like you were all, were together. So I feel like the universe may bring you another soulmate. You have options or you're going to be presented with options. Five of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the... Okay, wow. They are... Um, it's interesting. I don't know if I said this earlier, but the sexual chemistry is definitely there. This person has been fighting the urge because it's not just about that. There is a lot of sexual energy here, but it's not just about that. This person has fought the urge. Or you may have fought the urge 
maybe some of you haven't been sexually intimate with this person maybe some of you have but it's not just about that like there's something here about them that really wants to make something clear like it's deeper than that you may see them as like that's all they want but it's not all they it's not all that they want yeah <laughs> they want marriage wow you, you may find this out that they want marriage with you that they like this is the truth this is the truth about them it's interesting i feel like i'm going through personalities like i have the chariot here and then you have taurus like you have a cancer you have a taurus and then you have the truth I feel like I just went through their different masks or their different faces or facades or different, not facades, but like different layers of themselves. Because we all wear masks, but it's like you're peeling back the layer to get the truth. And I feel like that truth is that shift. But again, it, I can't, I can't shake this feeling off. For some of you, it's not the shift that it, it's not the shift that you wanted. It may not move you into the future that you thought you were going to move in with this person. Yeah, the magician in the reverse. Wow. Strength in the reverse. Six of um, swords in the reverse. Yeah, I don't know if you're single right now and you're choosing to stay single. Because this, this, whatever this shift is, it's not enough. Can you tell me a little bit more? Let me, let me move into here with this eight of wands. What is that? Nine, nine of pentacles came up in the reverse. See with the time. Ten of Wands. One more. Give me a potential outcome. Seven of Cups again. It came out in the reverse. See, it's funny because like you don't want the, the options to you is a burden. It's like just send me one. I don't want options. Send me one. Make the make make them like make the decision for me. Options, the options are a burden for you is what I'm seeing here. But the options are still going to come. You're going to feel like some options are a burden. You're going to feel like some suitors aren't just really not it. They're going to come at a time where um, you're ready, like you're ready to move into the Ten of Pentacles with someone here because you are coming out of the Nine of Pentacles. You're coming out of singlehood, but there's um, soulmates that are going to be presented to you that you feel are not aligned to you. You don't see the hope in it, the star in the reverse. You have your Leo, Capricorn, strong Pisces energy, or I, I also did see the moon. The tower, seven of swords. Yeah, guys. And the devil again in the reverse. Okay, there is going to be a shift. Like, regardless, there's a shift in this connection. I feel like you're going to understand. Okay, we did see that clarity with the Ace of Swords. You're going to understand. This is also understanding. This is information. You're going to get some kind of information about this person, maybe insight as to what has been going on with them, what they're going through. You're going to get the information. And that's going to be this shift. This person is going to release their devils, their demons. They are going to detach themselves, whatever excess energy or addictions or patterns or unhealthy habits that they have been doing to themselves because they're, they're doing it to themselves here with the Seven of Swords. This is unto themselves with the Tower, the Devil, and the Seven of Swords. 
I also feel like it's been clouding their judgment here with the five of swords in the reverse and the knight of wands in, in the reverse and that's what's like that's what's uh creating this like i don't want to act on my impulses because they can't differentiate is it their impulses or is it their true emotions that's why you may be feeling this inactivity with them because they cannot differentiate between is it my is it is it the the, the devil that's like my impulses my my obsession or like my lust that is acting towards him or her or is it like my tr my true love so this person is trying to figure that out and heal whatever they're going through does that make sense but you're gonna get some kind of information with the eight of wands and it's it's gonna make you feel worried that there's not gonna be a future so you're going to manifest some options that I don't see you liking. Can I see anything else? The chariot in the reverse. You're not going to move forward. And the magician again in the reverse here twice. You don't want to feel like you're not going to move forward with anything right now. You're, you're not going to move forward with anything, anyone right now. I don't see you moving forward with anyone right now. No. Knight of Cups in the reverse. You're going to shut it down very quickly. Yeah, there's that judgment in the reverse. This is clouding this person's judgment. Yeah. King of Cups again. With the High Priestess in the reverse. the star in the reverse see it's really all about this block change right now this needs to unblock there's inactivity right now in this connection and it's making you really worried about the future there's also going to be information that you're going to know as sh that's going to be the shift and you're still going to be worried that there's not going to be a future so you're going to manifest new new suitors new soulmates but you don't want any of them i don't see you moving forward with anybody at this time i'm just being real I'm just being, I'm being real. Last card, and then we'll close. Maybe next time things will shift. I don't know. Let's, is there anything else we can know? Two of swords in the reverse. With the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. No. Yeah, you're not moving forward with anyone right now. I'm hearing within six to nine months, maybe there's going to be movement. There's going to be potential movement within six to nine months with this person. The possibility of more activity with this person. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know if you wanted like a better love reading, but this is this is what I have for you. I don't know if they'll give me anything else. Yeah, it's a pause. There's going to see there's going to be a pause the hanged man. Just like how I paused in the reading, they said that it's going to be a pause 6 to 9 months, the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Again, that setback. That's what the wheel of fortune is. It's a setback. Okay, but the wheel always turns. The blocks will unblock. Okay, and there will be hope in something. You're going to you're going to feel hope in hope in something. Hope in this. I feel like with this soulmate of yours okay i'm 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 seeing there's going to be a long pause six to nine months okay with this group that i'm picking up on so this is what i have for you sorry that the love reading wasn't maybe what you wanted to hear but this is this is the energy that i'm reading i love you guys so very much i hope that this reading resonated with you i hope that it helped um i am open for personal readings there's a really long wait list. I think I'm going to shut down personal readings until I get caught up and then I'll open them up in the future. It's just like people are waiting like a year um, and that's just ridiculous to me. So I think I'm going to ca catch up and then reopen personal readings. So if you want to get in right now, do it. But I'm, I'm going to make an announcement, I think, within the next week or so 
um, that I just, I need to catch up on personal reads. Um, in the meantime, you, there are memberships that are open on the channel. The first tier is to just support my channel. The second membership tier, um, I put out weekly membership readings every Wednesday for the membership group. Thank you, Scorpio. I love you guys so much. And I hope this reading helped. I really hope it brought you with some clarity and insight into what you need to know. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.